Here's your WNEM-TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Blake Keller. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Flint residents want an equitable share of the American Rescue Plan Act budget and are calling on Flint City Council to make that happen. They gathered inside the dome at City Hall ahead of the council's special meeting to vent their frustrations and how long it's taking to get funding back into the community. Now they took uh, Mayor Sheldon Neely's proposed budget. Council members there offering changes like spending $18 million on community grants. If teens want to learn more about the way we vote, the Boys and Girls Club of Great Lakes Bay Region in Bay City wants to help them get to that point. There's an open discussion today with Michigan Senate candidates from 6 to 7.30 tonight on how to make informed voting decisions. So come with an open mind and plenty of questions. And one of the founders of one of Michigan's busiest tourist stops has died. The matriarch of the Brawner family, Irene, passed Sunday at 95 years old. Her and her late husband, Wally, founded Bronner's Christmas Wonderland in Frankenmuth in 1951. Here's Matthew now with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Blake. We are expecting nearly a carbon copy of Monday. We have rain and snow in the forecast, but also the wind and also some colder temperatures. That wind, first and foremost, the National Weather Service has extended the Lakeshore Flood Advisory for here on county until 10 p.m. this Tuesday evening. That's due to that stronger wind. Some gusts on the immediate shore still around 40, even 50 miles per hour. But even the rest of us expecting a windy day too with gusts between 25 to 30 miles per hour. We stay breezy through Tuesday night and on Wednesday, but it's Wednesday night and on Thursday we finally start to see those winds slowing down more. Only around 5 to 15 miles per hour for your wind on Wednesday night and into Thursday. First one five sky tracker does have our system still just very slowly leaving the Great Lakes region. We'll see another band of rain and snow pivot in from the north this morning. That'll start off with a lot of snow showers to transition over to rainfall during the afternoon and then through the overnight expecting more rain and snow showers in a scattered fashion and Wednesday also expecting that. But on Wednesday that coverage will be less than what we've seen uh, so far this week. Rainfall through the end of the week or rather through Wednesday evening. Not too much more only around a quarter to a half of an inch with the majority being picked up on this Tuesday and another colder day too lower 40s for your highs around 41 to 42 wind chills in the 30s all through the daytime once you factor in that breeze so bundle up and the seven day forecast does have more 40s for your Wednesday 44 48 on Thursday by Friday we're back to 60 and the more 60s even 70 by Sunday this weekend remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news weather and information